They come out, guns a blazing. She turns around and shakes her butt. I don't know why I even ordered that. I genuinely don't know where to start. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am back in America and I'm here to tell you guys all about my trip to Europe. We're gonna start with London and Paris. So the trip I went on was through EF Tours, but if you guys wanna check out the company, I'll leave a couple links in the description. You can order a free brochure or they're also running a giveaway right now where you can win a free trip. So if you wanna enter that, the link will be down below. But before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to the channel down below. And now let's unpack this so we're gonna start with London and I'm just gonna tell you all about it everything that happened what I saw what we did the food I ate it was just crazy so our flight actually took off at 11 p.m. and then we landed in London like 12 p.m. I think it was so it was a red-eye flight we dropped off our stuff at the hotel and then we went straight into a walking tour of London and we saw different areas of the city. It was kind of weird to have to get used to seeing the cars on the opposite side of the road. I knew that, like I expected that, but also it's like, it's weird when you actually see it, you know? We're going in roundabouts and I'm like, how do you even get out? I ended up skipping lunch because nobody ate anything. Like I think everyone just was like so off from the time difference because London is six hours ahead. So we walked around, we were taking the tube everywhere, which is London's like underground subway type situation. We were taking the tube everywhere, which was actually kind of cool. We walked around the city and saw some cool buildings. We saw an art gallery that was really cool. And I got a coffee there, but like for some reason, the coffee was like so good. So if you're ever in London, I think it was the National Gallery that I that the coffee shop was in. Like I thought it was just gonna be like basic coffee, but I was like, why is this so good? It might've been cause I was on a plane for like eight hours prior. We went into uh, Trafalgar Square. I think that's how you say it. I could be totally wrong. I think that's how you say it. Trafalgar Square. <laughs> It was just like this big like shopping area, super cool. Just everything's obviously more pretty there. And then we had our planned dinner through the tour group, which was fish and chips. And I am gluten free, but I did eat a little bit of the fish and chips cause I was like, mm, I just gotta like try it out. I tried smashed peas also, which like, I don't know if it's really, would really be my go-to, but I, I didn't mind it. I drank kind of a lot of, wine <laughs> i'm 20 but the drinking age there is 18 like i wasn't going crazy i'm not the type to do that but i was like okay a little glass of wine like in europe screw it screw it so like these guys are like bringing out wine to us like white or red madam but not i mean i guess it kind of was their accent kind of like that uh but definitely um What? What is that? Excuse me? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> Where's my phone? They just spray it up there? My mom left for a trip and she was like, don't be scared, the guy, like there's a guy coming to spray for spiders. So if you see a guy walking around the house, don't be scared. And I'm just sitting here and I hear freaking like splashing on the windows. I'm like, what is going on? And I look out there, there's just a guy like spraying the window. <laughs> that took me a second to realize what was happening, but like I didn't know they sprayed that hi that was really confusing uh sorry sorry for the interruption okay so anyways we had our um fish and chips and they also had a little dessert i don't even know what it was but it was so good i don't i don't even know some sort of cake it was gluten-free for me they brought something out that was gluten-free i don't know what it was but it was good like i'm telling you the food that's not in america that's all you need. It's just so much better. <laughs> and then after that, we went out and it was like, it was like midnight. We saw the London Eye like lit up. We saw Big Ben lit up. I don't have any footage of it. I might have some pictures on my phone that I'll, I'll put on the screen if I have them. But it was so cool to like see it lit up at night because we wouldn't have done that if we didn't go out. The next day we went to the hotel breakfast, which obviously I got beans for breakfast because that's a thing there. Not bad. 
kind of kind of enjoyed it um we were on a bus for a tour that day and we stopped to see abbey road which was really cool but it was like a little bit stressful because like there's traffic going across the road and the locals there like they don't care like they'll just run you over <laughs> if you're going to work and there's like a hundred people like taking turns walking across a road obviously you're gonna be like get the heck out of my way we did get to see it and i did walk across it i think there's like one picture of me walking and you can like barely see it because like a bus came in the way or like a van came in the way right when they took the picture and i was like i'm not running back across the street just to go back again i was like i'm just not doing that and then it was more like exploration we saw some really cool like architecture texture why do i struggle to say that architecture architecture Architecture. Why does it feel like it's not a word? Architecture. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just ignore me. Does anybody have some bird food? I got some coffee and we saw the changing of the guard, but f like what I imagined was literally like guards standing and then like switching out. I don't really know what we saw. We saw like all the like soldier guys. I don't, I don't know like what the correct wording of this is, but we saw like this British like soldier g protector guys like stomping around and like playing music. Quick, I didn't really know what was going on, <laughs> to be honest. And the soldiers, the infantry soldiers will be behind. The infantry soldiers behind. <laughs> But it was cool to see. So then that day, I think we were going to Windsor Castle? Quick march! Relief! Change! Out! And we got lunch. It wasn't anything crazy, but my friend did get, um, it's like a meat pie type thing, which is a thing in London, I'm pretty sure. Um, it looked really good, but... <laughs> Oh my gosh. It looked really good, but I couldn't eat it because gluten-free and I didn't want to risk it yet because we just started the trip and I was like, I don't want my stomach to be messed up, you know. <laughs> was that aesthetic? Um, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, the bug guy is still here. He's really spraying this place down. We went into like this burial area. So that was really interesting. It was kind of like ominous. Like I felt kind of weird walking through it because there were so many like people buried there, which it made me feel a little bit weird. And there's like candles everywhere, but it was cool to see for sure. So we had free time at night in London and me and a couple other girls went to this West End show called Sister Act. It's a comedy about a, like a nun. She's not originally a nun, but then she becomes a nun cause she's like hiding from something but she's like a big singer and she like shows the nuns how to sing really good. And it's actually really funny. And we got like little snacks and stuff. And then after that, uh, looks like we were acting a little bit weird in the hotel room. <laughs> hey guys. This place is a maze. It just keeps going. Uh, I don't know if we were just like high off the show. I don't think we drank anything. <laughs> My socks smell terrible. <laughs> Be dropped! <laughs> My socks smell terrible. Ooh. Nothing to say about that. The next day we spent the morning in London and we went to Notting Hill, but there's this movie Notting Hill with Julia Roberts, which is pretty famous. And I guess it takes place in Notting Hill. So we got kind of like a little breakfast 
at this gluten-free place. There was like a market going on. It was cool. It was a really cute town. The buildings were like all different colors. So then it was time to go to Paris. So we got on the Eurostar and went to Paris. And first thing we do when we get to Paris is go to the hotel, get ready, and go to a cabaret. <sighs> I I don't I genuinely don't know where to start. Let me set the tone here. It's me, like two other professors, and like eight other girls, and also this one girl's dad who was chaperoning on the trip. The tickets were like a hundred euro. But I was like, I'm in France. When am I gonna have the chance to see like a genuine cabaret? I didn't know really what that meant when I signed up but it sounded cool. There was like one little table in front of us and then we see the whole stage. I didn't take any videos of it and you're gonna, you're about to hear why because most of the dancers were a half nude, basically. They weren't wearing shirts. Um, like the show starts, 10 girls just come out shaking, like, <laughs> like really just not really wearing much. And we all are looking at each other like, oh my gosh, we were not prepared for this. We were expecting like kind of burlesque, like skimpy, scandalous, but not like too crazy. But no, they come out, guns a-blazing, shaking them everywhere. And we're just like, what the heck is going on? There was a portion with like a male dancer too, who was like stripping it down. <laughs> And the one sh chaperone, the guy, the dad, I'm not sure why he came, but he ended up going on stage and having to dance. The lady who was running the whole thing called up a bunch of guys to like have a dance off and copy what she was doing. She turns around and shakes her butt and they're all like supposed to be doing this. So I'm sitting across from this girl and her dad's on stage in front of all these like French people shaking his butt. It was very fun because it was different. Um, I think we just didn't realize because in America that's not normal. So we weren't expecting that. But it's like much more of a normal thing in France and in Paris and all that. There were a lot of other weird like little skits and like dance routines. The guys were doing splits everywhere and like throwing water on our faces. It was so crazy and I don't have any video because Obviously, that's not allowed, but <laughs> as much of like weirdness was happening, it was really cool to see. The dance routines were actually really good, but we weren't we weren't prepared for the um the amount of clothing that people were going to be wearing. That's all I have to say about that. So I come back from that and there's a vending machine <laughs> in the hotel and I think I tried some like kinder candy that's uh european i know we have some kinder stuff in the states but i did try some candy and i don't know if i was acting a little bit funny because of the champagne at the cabaret or if i was just acting weird because i'm weird i just went to this cabaret thing in paris and it was so weird and so amazing anyways i got this to try so let's try it time to try the treat we got kinder maxi i think there's milk in this oh here she is okay it tastes great and i'm gonna top it off with this with this Thanks for tuning in. So that was that day of Paris. And then we had one more day in Paris. We did another um, like bus tour. We like passed the Eiffel Tower, obviously. We saw the Arc de Triomphe. That thing is huge. You see like pictures and you're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Not okay, whatever, but you're like, okay, that's pretty big. But no, like I feel like when you see it in person, it's like, wow, that is clunky. We saw some of the city in Paris. Then we went to Versailles. That's probably one of my favorite parts of the trip because it is so pretty. The gardens are crazy. I got a, I think it was a ham and cheese buckwheat pancake. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. Oops. 
tried to order it in French and then the lady starts talking to me in English and I was like, okay, I just wasted my time on that. Now I'm embarrassed. So we did some shopping then a little bit and we ate dinner like kind of in this like wine cellar, which was really cool. That was one of the planned dinners. I think it was just stew basically, but um, or is it beef bourguignon? Is that what it was? I'm over here like, it was stew. No, it was like actually like a French dish. We went on a little boat river cruise, but I'll be honest, I was on like the wrong side of the boat. Like we tried to get on the top, but it was so packed. So we couldn't get up there. So we were kind of on like the opposite side that would be good for seeing the Eiffel Tower. I'm sure if you could actually see the Eiffel Tower, it would be great, but we didn't. Our view wasn't that good, but we did see it lit up after. The next day we were still in Paris and we went to the Louvre. I did see the Mona Lisa for one second. <laughs> it is true that it's like smaller than everyone expects and it's just like sitting there. She's just sitting there with a big glass thing over the top. I didn't get in the big line to see it like right up close cause I was like, I don't need to stare her in the eyes. Also, I was so tired this day. So everything was really pretty, but I was just like, where am I? I mean, we were getting like not even five hours of sleep each night and I hadn't drank any coffee. So I stopped at this little shop and got a coffee. The coffee was good but I accidentally ordered literally like this sausage or hot dog. It looked like a hot dog. I do this weird thing where like, if I don't know what to order, I'll just order the first thing I see. I saw saucy son free. Okay, sounds disgusting. I don't know why I even ordered that, but that's not what I was expecting in the end. I was not expecting a freaking 12 inch hot dog to come out on a plate and I tried it and it was a little bit concerning, so. And I was so hungry, like I didn't know what was going on. I just ordered it fast and then I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't mean to order that. And then like more people from the group are coming over, they're like, ew, why did you get that? <laughs> And I was like, I don't know guys, I don't know. If you are looking for an, an amazing relaxing experience, I would not suggest going to Paris. I'm not gonna say everyone's mean because that's not true, but we definitely had some experiences like traveling as a group where we felt very singled out. There was one point we were stopped and people were checking our like metro tickets. Mine ended up being okay, but a ton of people in my group had to pay like 50 euro for their ticket being like either expired or like a children's ticket is what they were saying. We didn't know what was going on because we were either given our tickets or told to purchase them and we, and we did buy what we were told to buy. So I don't know if we were just stupid and we're using like incorrect tickets. There were some a ton of weird things that happened in Paris. Like me and this other girl, we got left behind at the Metro because we couldn't fit. There were people like blocking the entrance and our whole group got to go in. The door started closing and one of the kids in our group jumped through the door and apparently got his foot stuck in the door like of the metro as it closed on the inside and he had to like yank it out. Everyone went in, the doors closed and I just look next to me and I'm like, oh my gosh, we just got left. Like it was just me and one other girl and we were like, uh. Now we're just alone in Paris on the metro. Our whole group was like on a different train. So that was kind of scary for like one second, but we did make it and we were fine. If you're flying Air France, just be careful. I can't remember what the limit was, but they'll make you measure your carry-on and your personal item bag, which doesn't even make sense because most airlines don't even make you weigh your carry-on. Like I said, if you're looking for a relaxing trip, maybe go to a different part of France because Paris is very touristy and there's tons of people. And like, if you're in a big group, you'll probably get like st stared at a little bit. That's what happened to us. But anyways, that's just some things about Paris. I definitely liked Italy better. So going into that, after that day, we arrived in Italy and we were all exhausted and a little bit delirious. We could not find our rooms. We can't find our rooms. They like didn't have one of our rooms. I had to stay in a room with four other girls. So it was five girls and one bathroom. And I'm like, 
this is not gonna work. We all went in this room and there's like five twin beds. And I was like, what the heck is going on? That was not good. They like ran out of rooms. There was a bidet. I heard that's a bidet actually. <gasps> oh. <No>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was very strange, but at least we had the bidet. So that's what happened in London and Paris. I'm gonna wrap up this video here and then I'm gonna make another video talking about Florence and Rome because that part was so much fun and I'm so excited to talk about that part. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down below if you haven't already. And again, if you wanna check out EF Tours, I'll leave a couple links down below to sign up for the free brochure and the giveaway. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Today we're going to focus on London and London and where, where did I go? Where did I even go? London and why can't I even think of it? London and Paris. Oh my gosh. Okay.